Alright, today we're going to start off and I'm going to show you guys how to do the Z method. I call it the Z method because it's something that I came up with, you know, through trial and error. A lot of mess ups, a lot of advice from other people. So we're going to start off with four different canvas. This one will be a test canvas just to make sure we got our colors right. I'm going to do the Hulk, I'm going to do Sacagawea, and then I'm going to do something else I don't really know yet, but we're going to figure it out. So I'll start off with Rust-Oleum White Gloss, and we'll get a healthy coat on to our canvas. We're going to do two of these coats. Full coat, overlapping coat from the bottom to the top. Alright, now we're back. Let that coat dry. We're going to hit it one more time with some of that gloss white. Just simple, easy, overlapping coat. All the way to the top. All right, now everything has dried. We're gonna hit it with that gloss black. rust two times ultra color. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna let it dry. Then we're gonna do Sacco Jawea and get it right. All right, y'all. While we're waiting on our canvas to dry, we're gonna go over here and play around with GIMP using the Big GIMP and plugin. It's so easy. People make it so hard, but only thing you gotta really do is file. Let's see. We're gonna find. We're gonna do Sacagawea first. So go through here. Open up the portrait. There we go, we got Sacagawea. We're not going to do anything to the image. There's, there's nothing that needs to be done. Only thing we will do is hit the big gimping. Once you hit it, the Python process to go through. So you want to leave it on tile. For canvas, we do tile. Alright, so the image itself is going to be, we're going to do it on a 8 by 10 But instead of it being 205, 8 by 10 going vertical, we're going to do a horizontal. So we need to change these numbers around. So we'll go 260 and we'll change this one to 205. Okay. It's raining here, so a little noise, a little noise, but we're good. Hit OK. It'll go through, do its thing. Once you do that, go to view. change the zoom just so you can see how it's going to look and there you go right there only thing from there is we're going to go to file we're going to go to export as portrait of Sacagawea that's going to be the name of it find out where you're going to go mine goes in GIMP photos hit enter replace the file because I already did it but I wanted to do it to show you all so I'm going to replace it Right here it says quality. You always want to go to 100%. So we go over here to your buttons, your arrows, go all the way up to 100%. We're good. Export. And there you have it. It's been exported, ready to be burned. So a lot of people use Laser GBRL. I use Lightburn. Um, Lightburn is easy for me. Um, being a new beginner, I only been doing it for about two and a half, almost three months, but I get some great quality work from Lightburn. Um, at the beginning, I had a couple of glitches, but they were more of a user error. So first off, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna load in the image. Go to import. Gonna load in the image. Okay. My canvas is 8 by 10 so here, remember we had 260, here we're going to do 250, 
250 because we're gonna do it horizontal. And then right here, uh, 205 is normally eight inches. That'll be the height. We're gonna do 198. I know this because I done did it several times on canvas and just to get it around the edge so you cover the full canvas. You know, you don't want to really have too much black at the top or the bottom. You want it to be an even flow. So once you do that, you set it you set it wherever you're gonna put it. Me, I have a grid on my on my cutting area. So I take it and I slide it down to about right there. For cuts and layers, I go to cuts and layers. This is my setup. A lot of people disagree with it. Say they say like uh, you shouldn't you should select pass through. I had some horrible experience with pass through. Every time I do pass through, the image come out too dark or it doesn't ca capture enough detail. So my speed is 3,000 max power for this. I'm gonna do 65. Um, my DPI is 254. That's like a medium DPI. I could go higher, but you know, it all depends on what your label laser is capable of doing. Um, scan angle. Um, instead of 180, I'm gonna start off with zero. That means I'm gonna start from the bottom and go up. If your laser ever stop in the middle of your arc or whatever you're doing, if you change the scan angle to 180. It'll start from the top of that project and go down. You'll just have to stop it once it laser the final line. Um, and that's it, pretty much. So we'll go back in this tab. You see all of my settings, 3065, 254. I'm using Jarvis, even though a lot of people say I shouldn't. But hey, I'm going against the grain. And now we're ready to burn. We just got to wait till our canvas dry. We're going to set it up. It's gonna be a good burn. Stay tuned. Canvas set up. We're dry, ready to go. We're gonna come in here to make sure everything lined up correctly. Hit shift, frame. See as laser go around all the way around the edges. Now, in order to do this, you need to adjust your width and height until you get it right. Um, line your canvas up. Again, we'll hit it again. Just make sure everything lined up. Pretty good.